Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are in San Francisco at a very intimate meeting with LG as they introduced to us the LG G Flex. This is the newest flagship which is currently on sale in um, Korea and will be available in uh, Hong Kong shortly. There is no official word about the G Flex availability in the United States, um, though the fact that we are here in San Francisco as part of this uh, uh, announcement series uh, indicates hopefully that we'll be seeing this stateside pretty soon. So what we have here is uh, a 6-inch 720p display. Uh, the decision for the 720p display was a technical decision based on um, the uh, uh, RGB the um, display itself underneath is a uh, flexible plastic uh, P-O-L-E-D, so it's plastic O-L-E-D uh, display. You have underneath uh, that a uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. On the back, we have the now familiar LG uh, controls with the volume rocker and the uh, power lock button. You also have the IR emitter here on the back. Um, which was a, a space consideration based on the curve and flex of the uh, of the device itself. A 13 megapixel camera. There is no OIS on board that has been confirmed today, so it is a, uh, a 13 megapixel camera without um, OIS. LED flash, SIM card tray here. This device is running uh, Android 4.3. Um, and so no word about uh, what it will be doing. Since it's running the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, it's obviously running uh, very fast. Retail, full retail unsubsidized in Korea equals about 950 bucks. Um, so subsidized prices, if we see it come here in the U.S., it'll probably be in the $300 range. Here it is next to an LG G2, which is the other flagship on the market here and has been uh, pretty successful and very well received um, across the spectrum. And uh, for those that are, um, you know, want to see a more familiar face, you can see what it looks like here next to a Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, in terms of this display itself and, and the, the device, there are some neat features uh, available to it, one of which um, we'll show you. Um, this uh, device incorporates software that allows you to um, check your selfies using the main camera. Instead of the front-facing camera, you can use the 13 megapixel uh, sensor on back, and I'll show that for you here, um, how that looks. Let me unmount my camera here so I can get it in the right angle. And I'm gonna activate the camera here. And then I'm going to turn it back, and you're going to start seeing that LED there. So that green light means that the camera is aimed properly at my face. If it goes off kilter, it's going to turn, uh, should turn yellow like it does there. And once it sees green, that means it's locked onto my face. And that means I can take the selfie um, with the main uh, camera sensor. So that's a rundown, a brief rundown of the uh, LG G Flex. Um, let me show you real quick what the what the flexibility looks like. Now it's based, it's been tested to uh, withstand 88 pounds of pressure, um, you know, to flatten it out, and it has not sustained any damage. So here you can tell it's clearly, um, clearly flexed, or you know, clearly flat, and I can flatten it out right here and then it pops right back up, you can see from the glow of the screen. So um, you can do this all day long and it works just fine, there are no issues. The back of the device features a uh, self-healing plastic and what that is, it's not the plastic itself, there's actually a layer over a traditional polycarbonate display that has soft links in the compound that allow it to heal. Healing time is faster the warmer it gets. It gets a little slower the cooler it gets. So um, they've said that light scratches that you end up putting in your back pocket, the body temperature um, can heal those scratches in as little as 30 seconds. In cooler temperatures it could take over three or four minutes uh, depending on uh, the, the scratch itself. Because it is a coating over the polycarbonate display, um, you could in fact scratch too deeply and I uh, would not be able to heal itself. This is a Korean model of the LG G Flex. So you can see it's covered uh, LTE Advanced. Um, the Korean model which you'll see here and there also sports an antenna for uh, viewing television because they have that service available uh, in Korea. So if we see a version of this model here in the United States, it certainly will not have um, that antenna capability. As far as the UI itself, it is running the uh, LG Optimus uh, user interface uh, 3.0. It is uh, running uh, Android 4.3 and um, with the uh, chipset underneath 
um, the display is uh, just flying through the UI and handling Android with no problems. So that is a rundown and a quick hands-on of the LG G Flex. Keep checking back here with us at phoneArena.com for a full review of this device very, very soon.